Hello YouTube, I am back again with another eye look. Now, I was sitting down playing around. Now, this is supposed to be like broken glass, like shattered. Okay, so you can see up here, where's my pencil? Up here is where I put, so it looks like broken glass, right here. And then I had to layer a lot of the broken glass, which I call broken glass, but it's glitter and then I had to find a way to blend so I blend some of that in and you will see that so if you would like to see how I turn this eye into this eye or this eye into this eye whatever you know then you know what to do just keep on watching so the first color I took was creme brulee by Makeup Geek I told you this is like a staple in my collection I put this literally up in the whole part up here so and I built this up to the intensity that I want so take a little bit more anyways we're gonna blend that and I'm bringing it up pretty far because we will just erase all that and then when I have nothing left on my brush we're gonna bring it into the inner corner very lightly because we need some kind of contrast in there. The next one I used was the Keller was Splurge and it's from the the Pure Sorcery Diaries palette but it's this Keller here and I pretty much did the same thing as I did with Creme Brulee just a little lower. I'm sorry if this is like taking your whole focal point off of how I'm doing it, but I wanted to talk to you guys because the last one I did a voiceover, but now that I have learned it, now I would like to talk to you guys this way. We can have fun and talk to each other and do eyeshadow. My husband was making tons of noise in the back. Somebody fucking my footage up, why not talk to you? That's what husbands would do, right? I go in a couple times and I'm just winging this out to create that upwards effect. I don't want my eye to be brought down. So I always, unless I'm doing an all out smoky eye, then that's different. So next, guys, I'm going to go in with the Shanxo palette. And I'm going to be taking this really nice brick red color that she has here. It's stunning. It's super. It's everything. And these shadows are very pigmented. I mean, every color. They're, they're great. I'll write the brushes somewhere here on the screen. If I can find out how to do that with this editing system, because I'm still learning it. Now this, I want to actually keep a lot lower than the other colors. I'm just gonna put it that way. It's a pain in the ass. But all we're doing here is building up colors for when we go in with our darker browns and blacks. Going with Makeup Geeks Bitten. And it's just a beautiful red, like, red brick red. So I'm going to take it on the same brush. And this time we're going to concentrate this uh, right in the crease, a little lower. Make sure to wing it out, bring it up. Like I said, I have a lot of upper lid space here, so I want to kind of match it up with this side. And with these brushes, they're really nice because you don't get that like really harsh line. It's a really nice blend. So I really, really dig these brushes. So now I'm going to go back into the Shanxo palette and I'm going to grab this orange color right here. Basically, this is just going to kind of lighten up this area here just a little bit to kind of blend out all of what we just did. So now that we did that, I'd always like to go back in with whatever transition shade I used and do circular motions back and forth to make sure that everything is blended to hell and back. 
So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take this Epic Keller. It's this nice chocolate brown. And we're going to begin to deepen up now a lot more. So when I first used it, like I stamped it on like exactly where I wanted it because I didn't want to bring this too high. So. Now I do want to bring this in here as well. And then we're going to extend this corner here. So I want to really get that outer V down. Now when I go in with the black, this is just a guide pretty much of where that really dark that I'm keeping really low, as you can see, I'm keeping it very, very low. And I like to look down in my mirrors. So I'm keeping it very low. So I'm going to go back in and I'm going to keep deepening out until I feel that I've deepened it up enough. So I'm going to go back in with my Sigma E25 that still has some of that color on it and we're going to fade that all in together just so everything is nicely blended. And I'm just going to go over all of this because it's a smaller brush as you can see and it really does do the job. I really love Luxie. This is going to be a talk through so it's going to be a long video so just hang tight. What you want to do now is you want to go in and you want to carve out your inner corner. So I'm going to take the Maybelline In Light Fit Me Concealer. It is a dollar elf brush. It is amazing at carving out concealer or carving out a cut crease. It's very good for that. I wanted this not to be a cut crease, but I wanted the really light shimmer to pop, so I just wanted to gradually fade that out to nothing. That's what I'm doing here. Now I'm just feathering it in to the other color where I feel that's where the black will lay the most, but this is where most of the glitter is going to go. So now the color that I use for that, it's out of the... Studio Makeup and Go Eyeshadow Palette and this one is in Cool Down and I use this like icy pinky kind of white color right here and I'm going to apply that all where I just did the cut crease because I didn't want something real white but I wanted something reflective and this did it for me. Then I'm going to take that little teeny brush we used that brown in and I'm going to get right in there and blend that out so it looks really nice and seamless and not such a harsh line. So that's as far as we've gotten so far. Now the part that you guys have been waiting for, the glitter. Now let's take our Dila Magnificent Metals and now we're gonna create our winged liner. So I just get some on the brush and then I'm taking this angled liner brush by Body Graphic Pro, Body Graphy, Bodyography, I don't know. Like for that to be glitter, like that's pigmented. Just put your wing liner on ladies so this way you know where to stop the glitter and so you know where the base of your lash is going to sit so you don't go too low. That's all I'm doing here. So just make a wing, call it a day, make it simple. Not hard. You know I'm all about easy. I don't even know if you can hear that or not, but if you can, I apologize. Alright, so now what I did was all this glitter shit. Now, I have tons of glitters here, as you can see, that I'm going to go out of these. That race here, as you can see, that I'm going Just little round circles of silver. And that was the main focal point along with these two here that I'm holding in my hand. Okay, so one is like snow, which looks like broken glass. It looks like fiberglass. And the other one has just little squares of like iridescent colors. So we are going to go directly in with some eyelash glue. And it takes a lot of building up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some eyelash glue, okay, and I'm only going to run it up to about that high. So I pick some of this up and as you can see, like, it's literally like, like, like fiberglass. Like, I don't even know if you can see that in the cap, but it's literally like fiberglass. So I'm just going to pick some of these up 
and start placing them where I basically want them. And at first you really are not going to see much. Be careful in the inner corner because you don't want to stab the shit out of yourself, but you want to get close. So you just got to find pieces that work and you don't want to go below your liner or you won't be able to put your lashes on. Okay, ladies, so what you're seeing here is I am just adding and adding and adding. You use eyelash glue, select the pieces you want. It's a pain in the ass because, of course, I, the eyelash glue that I use, the duo, it sticks to every fucking thing. But just place them where you want them, layer and layer and layer until you get the opacity and, you know, the thickness that you want, okay? And you just kind of want to keep going over it with eyelash glue, add more, add more. You can see I'm struggling, you know, it, it was costly, like you can see here, I mean not costly, but pricey. And yeah, I know I got shit on my eyelashes, but... You know, I fixed it at the end, but I seen I need more in the inner corner and yet yeah, more there. And you just keep going until you feel that you're happy with it. Now, these are those little square iridescent ones. Now, I take these and just dump these all over my eye, like just sprinkle them just for more definition. As you can see here, that's what I'm doing. So it just gives me more definition and I'm pressing them in. So there's definitely, it looks like there's dimension in it. You definitely want dimension in this eye. So from here, here we go. Okay, so this is how we're looking so far. We've got our broken glass here. We've got our broken glass there. Now we need to add some definite going with our black eyeshadow. And I am taking the Worms palette. It's uh, that same studio makeup on the go, only this one is in warm up. And I'm taking the black in this shade. We are going to darken this up now. You're going to see how it really makes that glitter pop. And I also want to bring it in between. That's where we get this nice dark smokiness. All this is going to do, ladies, is help to create more definition and make it cohesive so it all comes together nicely. So like you can see the broken glass bits. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with that little fluffy brush with no product on it and I wanna try and blend this out, blending it just up at the top. I'm gonna go back into that orange shadow I used, that brick orange, like that brick red shadow I used in the Shanxo palette and bring that red up to help blend that black in before we go in with that glitter. Now I'm going to just take a regular just buffy brush with no product on it and blend the hell out of that even more. Now what I want to do is I'm going to go in with that Steel of Magnificent Metals and we are going to literally blend in all the way up. And this product is super easy to use. And this is where the definition actually comes in at. And it looks better laying on top of it. While we're waiting for that to dry, we're going to go ahead and keep adding more to it. I like these little silver things and I want to use them. I think they give more de de more definition more definition i didn't know what, i don't even know what i was going to say right there more definition okay ladies all i'm doing here is adding them little silver circles just to give more definition because it looks like a mirror so broken glass if you shatter a mirror what happens that's the effect i'm going for then i'm putting a little bit more on and you'll see why i'm doing the eyelash now part. let's go back in with our broken glass now, ladies, after you stick the little silver things, you're going to go back over it with the shattered glass or whatever you want to call it, fiberglass, to hide those circles, but it gives a really nice reflection underneath. So that's all I'm doing, and now I'm fading it into the black because you want to kind of like do it as gradient as you can, even though they stick up. Do the best you can to try to blend it in. Your best is going to be good enough. At the end, it really does turn out good, and I was really happy with it, and I hope you love it just as much as me. So yeah, and I end up getting stuck, so watch. And this is how I fixed it. Gotta wait for the glue to dry. And then you run into problems like me. 
and I want that right where that's at. What the fuck? Uh, I'm stuck. Uh, I'm really stuck. Shit. Where is my tool? I don't know. Ha! Huh. I just held it there for a while and it worked. Yeah, you might want to wait for the glue to get tacky, but whatever. I don't have fucking patience. This is my bottom one. Okay. <laughs> So now that the black has pretty much dried, I'm gonna go in with that same black we've been using, y'all. <coughs> and I'm gonna just smudge out this glitter so it's not so harsh of a line there. Now this is what I mean. Can you see where you have like a gap from like where that was and this does not have a gap? That's where those stones came in handy because it doesn't look cohesive to me right now. I'm gonna take that buffing brush, buff that out. Okay, now we're gonna go back in with that red in the Shannon XO palette and we are really going to intensify that red to equal this side over here. You can basically see what I'm doing, ladies. Just blend that shit out. That's all you gotta do. Now we're going to take a little bit more of our glitter because we can't hide that. We need to blend this glitter in and bring it up. And this is so easy to use. Like so easy to use. Okay, so we sharpened that up. And we're going to apply three of these. They're just regular little rhinestone diamonds. Here. One there. One there. Okay, that's what I did. Then I added also on top of those, I added some more of that fake ass broken glass. And then we're pretty much almost done with the eyes. So that's not that bad. Let's put some real fancy. So what you want to do is just keep layering over top. Add more, add more, add more, add more, and add more. What I needed. Yes, girl, yes. Just keep doing it until your heart is content. Just keep adding more and adding more and adding more. This is a very tedious and long process. So if you're not into that, then I have another tutorial coming for you soon. So just hang tight. So I'm using the warm's warm up palette and I'm using this lightest shade here. It's got like a goldish yellow undertone. So I thought it would go perfect. I'm gonna go back in with that little brush. Trying not to touch that glitter till that shit dries. Okay, I'm back. I have two options. I have this option here. Okay, these are Frankenstein lashes. And then I have this option here. And these are Batgirl. Now, these are a little bit more flirtier, more fluffier. So, I'm thinking about wearing these ones. And they also have bottom lashes with them. So, I think we're going to do this one here. These are what these look like. Really, really pretty. Really... Like, they feel kind of plasticky, but what do you get for Halloween lashes? I am going to go in with the Benefit Professional to fill in my holes. I will come back to the eyes. Don't worry. I can forget about them. Benefit Professional. This is really good, like, when you have, like, a lot of acne or... Uh, how can I say it, like, uh, untextured skin. Like, it really does help to smooth that surface out and make you look so much, like, smoother, like, already that did a whole lot. Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Liquid. And this one is in Presco Pop. So, it's this one, and it's in Presco Pop. And we are going to put some of this on so we look glowy. Little bit of this shit goes a long way too, see? But I like to rub it in. 
because oh, this smells like the beach. Like, you know, if you're out on the beach and like you got your tanning lotion on and shit, that's exactly what this smells like. If you're wondering, it smells so good. Oh my god, it smells so good. Look at the grays already coming through. Like, I, I really just dyed my hair and look at the grays coming through. Like, ladies, I'm 41, if for our, those of y'all that didn't know. Like, I'm 41 years old. I'm old. I'm as old as the dust. I mean, no? How can I say that? I am as old as the farts I dust. What? Or the dust that I fart. You know how I fart and it's like dust? Yeah, I'm that old. <laughs> and Ann just cracking up. I don't know. I just... Felt like saying it. We're gonna go in with our Too Faced in Warm Beige. Uh, Born This Way Foundation, and I'm going to put some of this on my face. I'm gonna go in with a Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge. Don't ever try to say that when you're pouncing your face because it makes you sound fucking retarded. And we are starting to look not this color anymore. <laughs> Summer's gone. Now, I was in Ulta yesterday and I bought the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. Why do I feel like this is not going to highlight my face? I feel like it's going to be the exact same fucking color as my foundation. If, and I'm not putting any of that pink salmon color under my eyes, ladies. You notice that, right? I want to see if this shit really is what they say it is. Bomb.com, let's see. Now we're going to go in with our beautiful brand new Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in Medium. And it pretty much looks like it matches my skin tone. But if I have to lighten it up, I can use my Maybelline. But I want to see how good this shit works. Oh, not too bad. I like the, that real natural kind of highlight. I do like how thick the brush is. I don't like how hard the brush is, but I like how big the brush is because it kind of covers a nice wide area. Cover Tarte Shape Tape. Cover. And I'm going to have to say that if I could open my eye and get underneath, that this is amazing concealer. Wow. Like, wow, like that is beautiful. That really is beautiful. And I'm gonna go in and I'm just gonna use this Luxie 214 blush brush, but I just wanna lightly like put this on my face. Very, very lightly and this brush is so super light. So. Okay. Now, there is so much going on in the eye itself. I have three eye looks, I mean three lip combos for you. You can go nude, you can go dark as fuck, or you could go red. Depends on you. I'm gonna take my Urban Decay 24 seven uh, what are these called? 24-7 Glide-On Eye Pencils in Perversion. So this one's in black. So let's do the top line. To blend all this shit in. And we're going to do the lower lash line as well. I really shouldn't be doing this because it's really going to close my eyes off, but I want the black. Okay, I just want to run this in just in the lash band itself. Now, what I'm going to do is take a pencil brush and we're going to smoke that out. I'm going to use the Sigma E30. Because I really didn't want too much going on on the top. I mean the bottom because there's so much already going on on the top. Now I'm going to take any little fluffy brush like this and I'm going to use some Makeup Geek Cocoa Bear and I'm going to buff out that bottom, okay? So we're just going to add a little bit of that Makeup Geek Cocoa Bear. I want the bottom really subtle. I don't want it smoked out really far at all. 
I'm going to take some of my Benefit Hula Bronzer and I'm going to dip this little dome brush in. And I'm going to begin to bring some color back to my face here. The sun's going down. I like to put bronzer on my chin and on my nose because I like things that look really cohesive. And then I'm going to take my little brush that it comes with and we're going to use it to contour. So see, two products in one. Bronzer. And then we're going to chisel out them cheekbones a little bit more there, buddy. As you can see, contoured, not. Contoured, not. Listen, y'all, it's been nine months. I'll get back into the groove of things. I will. Just, I will. We're going to put some It Cosmetics Superhero on the bottom lashes. And do that inner corner highlight, girl, and call it a fucking day. I'm surprised I can open up my eye fucking far enough to do mascara. Yeah. Now what I really want to do is I want to stick some rhinestones along the top of my brows. I just think that might set the look off. The ones that don't stick, you could always use glue. Like that. I just need to buff this part here out then I'm gonna go back in with the Shan XO palette really beautiful burnt brick color again and we're gonna really blend those two colors together because I really like how that looks we are gonna do the inner corner highlight right now this is the silver that I am telling you is intense. It is by Michelle Fawn. She is a YouTuber here. So wait till you see how intense this fucking shadow is. And if you wet it, it's even sicker. You don't even need to wet it. This is going to go all and fill in all that space. Look at that. Like, are you guys seeing the payoff I'm getting? That's not wet. You go, girl, on this silver. This silver is fucking phenomenal. It's fantastic. So, <clears throat> now we're going to go in with my favorite blush of all time. It is Heartthrob by Makeup Geek. It is this one right here. We are going to dab twice. Whoops, that was three times because I couldn't see. And we are going to put it on the apples. you got to be really careful with these blushes because they can get very dark very quick. And I swear to God, this blush goes with every look I do. It doesn't matter. It is the perfect pinky, corally, peachy, everyday blush. And it is super intense and pigmented. So you can make it as light as you want to as dark as you want. That's why I love it. Because I think it goes with everything. We're almost done, guys. Ofra and Rodeo Drive. Yes. And just bring it down. And this is with nothing. The last time I used a Jelly Pong Pong. This, there's so much going on that I don't want it to be too overbearing. And like I said, don't look at my fucking nails, they're ratchet. My hands, like, you see all that shit? Like, my fingers, like, <coughs> sorry, literally, are like black. We're going to put a little here, a little highlight here, a little highlight here. So, now... We're going to do a little cascading of broken glass and we are going to do this ever so easily. Like, seriously, like I don't want to get shit everywhere, like glass. Yes, that's breaking. what I needed. Yes, girl, I got gotcha. <laughs> you. Let's do some you broken glass cool. shattering everywhere off my face. Why can't you just stay where the fuck I put you? Just stay there. I like you. Stay there. There. Stay there. Mm. Perfect little shard. Okay. You think that looks good enough there? Yeah. Alright. 
We are gonna go in with the black lip. I'm sorry, I like black and we're gonna do black. It's like a black purple. I think it kind of suits the eye. So that's what we're gonna do. Now I'm using the NYX Liquid Suede and this is in the color, oh, put it on. Well, oh, I'm gonna put it on. Yeah, girlfriend, let's put it on. I'm really liking it. Let's spray some all nighter. And we are done. There you have it. The broken glass eye, shattered eye, whatever you want to call it. Look, I really hope you enjoyed it. I hope you had fun with me today creating this crazy different eye. I told you I would have a lot of eye looks coming up that would be different, that would be fun, that would be something outside of my comfort zone. And I love dramatic eyes, so here it is. My husband gave me the idea of acting like there's broken glass dripping off my face. And so I did that for him. Don't forget to click the thumbs up button. Don't forget to click that red subscribe. And don't forget to click that bell too so you don't miss any more cool ass tutorials from me. And I think that's all I have to say. I have an ass load of editing to do. And until next time, I will see you in my next video. I love you so much and thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.